Yeah, it was kind of a thing that started at a very early age. I, I always tell people that my father was really lucky as an adult because all he had to do to spend quality time with me was just take me to work. That, that's all I ever wanted to do. We moved to Penn State when I was just turning four years of age. He was the coach there for 22 years. and. Really, that was my childhood growing up around the soccer program, around the athletics department, going to all the sporting events and, and following that team and its progress. And I probably know more about the history of Penn State soccer than, than most people just because I lived it all the way through. So that was a that was a background that was natural. I felt like it was something that I always had within me. And as I went through my undergraduate and graduate degrees, it became clear that, that coaching was something that was in the blood, so to speak. My goal was to try to become a Division One head coach. That's what I had grown up around. That's what I wanted to emulate. That's what I enjoyed. And where it was or what kind of shadow was cast or anything like that never really was into my consideration. I think certainly when you're connected to people that have been within the field that you're working in, is true with any job people will have certain connections or they'll they'll know the name or you might have opportunities or ways to to get ahead in, in things because of the background but I never focused on any of that I was just focused on trying to get better every single day and seeing what opportunities were there for me and I was fortunate that the places that I've worked have all been great for me and now ending up here at Albany is, has been a great a great thing that I'm enjoying very much. Again, I think back to my childhood growing up, they used to host the NSCAA coaching courses at Penn State every summer, and you'd have all these who's who of coaches coming in to instruct other coaches. So those were some great memories running around out there in the fields, taking part in sessions and being around people that love the sport of soccer, that want to see it grow, that wanted to see it get better. And certainly the growth that soccer's had in our country has been astronomical in the last 15, 20 years. So that education arm is very, very important and going through and doing my own licenses and seeing others that are doing it now, I think it's something that we as coaches, we're, we're educators in a big way. So educators have to always stay on top of their craft and try to keep learning. And I think having the platform to do that is very important. So very, very positive influence. We look to put together the best team that we can, and we're in such a, a great state and a unique state because New York is as diverse as they come when it comes to population that's out there. You look at just within our own state, we have a number of players on our team from New York, about two thirds to three quarters of the team, but a lot of them come from families that are from different ethnicities, different backgrounds, different nationalities, and so we have a great mixture with that already and then we we bring into that some other guys from different pockets of the world we've had some australians some new zealanders some brazilians some scandinavians and we we really just like the mix that it that it puts together but ultimately we want good people good people and in our sport soccer is so global that you already speak the same language you speak the language of soccer and you have commonalities and things that you share with your teammates so we want to make sure that our identity is very much one of, of a positive team, of a positive group of individuals, and we do want to represent the state of New York. And bringing in those outside players, I think, is a tremendous value to everyone because from the outside, what an opportunity to come into the United States and combine your education with your athletic career. And if you're an American and you get the chance to, to meet and interact and become teammates with people from all over the world, that's, that's the kind of life experience that stays with you for, for as long as you're alive.